That's real shaky. Yeah, that's that seems a little sketch. I feel like I'll just wait. I'll just wait for people to join while I figure out my camera. Not that I could have done that before. All right, you'll notice it's not clean over here or over there, or anywhere else. I've given up cleaning until we move. I just don't care. I'm not gonna clean anymore. I've had it. So I thought I'd share with you dinner, because I'm making dinner. As you can see, I have boiling water. And I thought I'd share this, because this is like how we make dinners pretty much every day with our meal prep. So whenever I do meal prep, this is how I make dinner from our meal prep, or it's one of the things that I do making dinner for meal prep. I get these very tiny little you see this little itty bitty little baby noodles they're very very fine noodles and i just get this from Crawford. i like these ones the best they're my favorite hello thank you i uh i'm not doing any makeup things. Yeah. Yeah. i don't appreciate your tone of voice young man so <clears throat> Making some of these. Oh my word. Why don't you help? Look, I need you to help me get the cutting box. Oh, oh goodness, goodness. Get this out. Get that out, put it far away. Can you see his little hands? He can reach here. He knows how to grab things off the countertop. I know, I'll lift you up so that your face is out of it. That's, maybe. Okay. So this is some of the previous meal prep. It's beef and bone broth and i'm going to add it to some noodles he's like i really don't want you in my live stream <sighs> yeah don't okay how about i put you in your seat and i give you food and what about that is that a good enough trade hmm? huh huh he's like really oh yeah i'm not gonna let you have that if I let him have the food from earlier, he will. All right, my water's boiling. Poggers, don't know what that is. Um, gove yucho, sem skuhada. Um, okay. So, you can see, this is just an Ikea container with beef and beef soup. And normally, I, when I take it out from cooking it the whole day, I normally chop it up and make it really easy to use for when I'm going to use it. However, I didn't do that, I didn't have enough time. I haven't even cleaned the, this from making it. So, all right, I'm gonna put in all of my noodles. They only cook for one minute, so they do not take much time to cook. And the length of this video is actually going to be exactly how long it takes me to make dinners usually. Probably a little extra because I'm gonna be chatty. You know. Um, how am I? Good, thanks for asking, I appreciate it. It's nice to see you all today. 
Okay. I really am trying to be in this video, even though it's a challenge. So I'm, I'm going to put the lid back on that because you never know what dumb thing's going to happen. Do I use the metric system? I do now. We had this conversation in our last video. Maybe not you and I specifically, but I had it with someone in my last video. And yes, use the metric system. It just makes sense. Isaac. All right, if I feed the baby, he's happy. So basically what I do is I make noodles and then I pour out the water, I leave a little bit, and then I add a bunch of bone broth and I add the beef. And then if it needs salting, I salt it slightly. And that's kind of all I do. And then we'll just have that for dinner, maybe with a piece of bread. Um, and then the kids will go to bed and uh, Luke and I will usually have a shake before going to bed. And that's that. So I like to chop up the beef because I feel like it's so much more enjoyable, especially for kids to eat. Did you eat it all? You want more? All right, kiddo. Here. Dang, that was fast. Um, usually kids enjoy it way more if the beef is like very fine and easy to eat. It just makes it more enjoyable for them. Ow. I feel like if I leave a little bit of the water in, this is like what I learned from making pasta and sauces, but if you leave a little bit of the water in from cooking pasta, it kind of helps to thicken the soup a little bit. Okay, so to cool down my noodles. Oh my gosh. Dude, say please. No, 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 Please. If I have any hearing left whatsoever when my children are grown, it'll be a miracle. All right, to keep my noodles from overcooking, I'm gonna add, which I think is too late, quite honestly, they've already overcooked slightly. You know how it is, kids these days. Okay. Now, the problem with this specific apartment is that if I don't clean up every, like I have to wipe down the counter multiple times, because if I don't, within 10 to 15 minutes of cooking, I'll have ants. There's just not, like, this has been a long, long, hard waged battle. And there's kind of nothing I can do about it. I just done my best. It's actually improved a lot since we got the right kind of ant traps. Excuse me? Is it mama? Please. Yes, that's much better. Holy cow. Yeah, you just ate so much. He's like, you starving, I see. I see. You're starving. <coughs> um. Hey. Right. And look. Oh, fried shallotes. Ah, no, thank you. So here it is. Govea Yuho. It's typically when I make it, I make it with like, I think when you get it from Gustilna or if somebody makes it in their home, it's typically very little noodle to soup. Like there's much more soup and much less noodles. The ratio is that way anyways. But when I make it at home, I usually put, and usually when you eat it in a Gustilna, you don't have any beef in it. And when I make it at home, I like to make it with uh, extra beef because it's our dinner. So to keep everybody full when they go to bed and then maybe have a slice of bread with it. And we will typically eat, oh goodness, chicken with chicken soup uh, or some other kind of similar meal. And we have beef once a month 
because it's definitely a more expensive meat than chicken. But oh my goodness, do I love I love beef. I really, really love eating beef. Okay, you, Isa, let me get you, let me get you something. You're so hungry, is this hot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I glad I tasted that? Excuse me, mister, okay? I'm doing the best I can. All right, I'm really, really making an effort for you. I know you're hungry. I, I really understand that you're hungry. Yeah, you wanna eat. Better. Ants even during winter. Ants all freaking year long. Oh, you're very hungry. Very hungry. Oh, how did you get like that? How did you get like that? You gotta turn around. Yes. 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 All right, there's dinner. How long did that take me? 11, 59, 12? With distractions and making a video, 12 minutes to make dinner, that's not bad. To make a hot meal, that's really good. Mm, uh, started watching, okay, I'm going back in my comments. Uh, hello, hello, hi. Started watching your videos yesterday, in love with your videos. Thank you so much welcome to my channel our channel really where would i be without you use metric system yes what are you gonna see in the next video uh video i don't know i'm really like just doing this when i have a moment chair from rhode island wow uh Ugh, vampy, ugh, vampy, yuch, yuch, dobr take, hvala. Um, if you're all about to eat dinner, I wish you the same as well. You know, in uh, English, we don't have anything for dobr take. We just say bon appetit, which is obviously French. Bon appetit. And... Ah. Listen, let me put this on you, huh? Huh? That way you catch all your food and uh, we don't make such a mess, hmm? Please use your spoon. Yeah, there you go. A fed child is a happy child. Um, so yeah, when people, when I first came here and people would say, do per take, and they say, what do you say? And I said, we don't say anything. <laughs> We just eat. We usually pray and then we eat. We say grace. Grace. And then we eat. Um, okay. There's my dinner. And then I have something like this kind of bread. This is the end of this bread for today. So it's like perfect amount. One slice for each of the girls. And... Uh, they're uh, in the shower right now. I have to go in there and wash their hair before they come out. And have dinner, but obviously Isaac needed to eat. So voila. You know, when you have a family and like the lifestyle we've chosen to live is, I don't wanna spend an hour, two hours preparing dinner every single day. That's a complete waste of my life. 
I'd rather be doing things or spending time with my kids. Isaac. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-uh. I'd rather be spending time with my kids or spending time with my husband or doing something besides cooking so much every day. So I usually cook in a way that I have 15 minutes to prepare a hot meal for every day of the week. It just makes our lives so much easier. During the winter now, it's like usually soups. Uh, do this, segedine chicken soup, you know, like broths that are super nourishing and warm. And then during the summer, it's things like kasha salad, like Aydava kasha and veggies, like fresh veggies, maybe some feta cheese in there with chicken. Just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Wait a minute. Okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I should make one more taste test. It's good. Do I have a problem pronouncing C? No, C? No, but here it's like a sharp C. So it's like the English T S. It's harder in the beginning of a word because we're not used to it really. But like streets, you know, it's like TS sounds like that, but t here. I'm trying to think what I have difficulty pronouncing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't feel like anything's too. R no, not ours. I I used to speak okay, decent Spanish before I came here. My brain completely forgot how to speak Spanish. And now I just struggle with Slovene. Mm. So good. Okay. This was enjoyable. I enjoy doing the live stream a lot. I would like to do more live streams. Let me... Let me know in the comments below. Does it help if I let you know? I don't know how many of you watched my stories on YouTube. They're not really, like, it's like they haven't figured out how to make them that great. But if you watch my stories on Instagram or on YouTube and I do a heads up for when I'm gonna go live, let me know if that's helpful at all. Oh, either. Oh boy. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Um, because if you guys enjoy it, I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. I like, I like going live. And right now, at this point in my life, it is definitely the easiest thing for me to do because as soon as I'm done, uh, YouTube just processes it and posts it for me. So I don't have to like record it, edit it, upload it, name it. It's like, it's just done. It's super easy for me, so. Um, I would love to do a live video of our house being built and show you some of that. That would be really, really exciting for me. I don't know when because we were there today and it's just chaos every time we go there because we have, you know, kids who are like having a great time running around, but they're also in the way. And then I also go there and I have like a thousand measurements to take every time. This time I was smart though and I took a picture of the space because I'm like trying to figure out furniture and I took a picture and then I did markup if you have an iPhone you know what I mean like I marked it and then I just like drew a line and I wrote on the picture how many centimeters everything was that I needed to know so anyways anyways if you like this live format let me know thanks for hanging around I appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.